pricing your artwork makes most artists really uncomfortable. I have a fair amount of experience with selling work now. I still feel like, am I doing this right? You're always wondering, too much, too little. There's a lot of factors you have to consider. Venue, media, and time, and audience. Even the exact same painting in a different place with a different audience might get a different price. You almost are like playing this game with yourself where you're like, oh, but I could have sold it for this. You're constantly second guessing yourself. I tried to find people that worked in the same media, that had similar subject matter, who were of similar standing. When you haven't got that like solid backing, you kind of have to like make it up from scratch. Do the math. About how long did it take me to make this painting? How much did it cost me? How much was the canvas? How much was the paint? Yeah. Figure out the hourly rate. You might feel like $15 an hour is fine. This doesn't always work for everybody, but it is one way just to make it more concrete for yourself. Price your work by square inch plus materials. My small paintings would take forever to do. The time that I put in was just not equivalent to the size. These paintings would take so long. So I'm like, I'm going to do some quicker drawings that are in the same style of the paintings, but take a tenth of the amount of time to do. This is, of course, a huge generalization. Where does the artwork I make fit on the food chain? Paintings are kind of at the top because paintings are one of a kind. A print is something that you can make tons of editions of. Hand-pulled prints are like a little bit more value because they are individual and in that they'll have their own quirks, but they are still the, the same image you're able to make a lot. Oils and acrylics are almost always valued more than watercolors and gouache, especially yeah. because watercolors and gouache, they're usually on paper. A work on paper usually is valued less. I just always assumed, okay, if I think this print is worth $100, that's what it's always going to be worth. If you go to a she-she Boston art gallery, people don't buy artwork in there casually. Usually there are people who are collectors. People are plunking down $10,000 for a painting. My very first open studio, people really have to be in this like particular mindset when they, when they spend money. There are these relationships that the gallerists make with people that, you know, have a lot of money that want to buy, buy very nice artwork. Volume versus price is a really important relationship to consider. If you are showing at, say, an Open Studios event, or if you're selling online, that is now high volume with low prices. I have these crummy sketches that honestly take me five minutes to make. And then people would say, oh, wow, these don't cost that much. Why don't I buy four or five? But in a gallery, it's the opposite. All of the prices that are, say, on Etsy, the attention is to the lowest price, the person that can sell things for the least. So I, for instance, do bird cards and I can sell those for five dollars each. I can sell like thousand of them. I think that's good advice, Lauren, to keep your, quote, bigger pieces, save them for the brick and mortar gallery. I did at one point say to myself, maybe I should just throw these up online for the amount I would sell them for in a gallery. They never sold, ever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel like the most expensive thing I ever sold online was a $300 hand-pulled print. A fair number of people that buy, you know, that first thing come back later and they buy a more expensive thing when they, you know, have the means to do so. It is standard for the gallery to get 50%. If you sell a painting for $500 at a gallery, you're getting $250. And so a lot of people are very freaked out when I tell them that, but that is exactly the way it is. And then if you sell online, there's fees too, because usually if you sell on Etsy, they take a certain amount out of every listing. If you use PayPal, they usually do something. A lot of money goes into um, having events to publicize the work. When I did exhibitions, it would easily cost thousands of dollars. Selling online versus selling on a gallery, they're basically opposite ends of the spectrum. So you could say, oh, well, in an online shop, I get all $500. In a gallery, I'm only going to get $250. But here's the thing. If you're doing it on your own online, you have to do all the promotion. You have to deal with everything. Now, a gallery, 
They have a list of people who regularly buy for them. They probably are used to putting out ads in art form or other magazines. The first thought is, oh my God, 50%. But then you realize, wow, it's a lot of work to promote your own stuff and to find clients. The shipping is so brutal. It can cost like, you know, hundreds of dollars. I have definitely had a situation where I set the price so low that it actually influenced what the customer thought about my work. It is really something that you have to fight yourself with. If you are pricing your work too low, people think that it's only that valuable. When it's priced high, where people are like, oh, it's worth that, like this must be really special. I want, it causes a demand, it's so bizarre. If you price your work really low, you're actually doing a disservice to other artists continues this perception of, oh, well, this person is selling it for this much. Why is your thing like so much more than that? If I say, what if I price this print for $50? Does that make me uncomfortable? It could make you uncomfortable as in, oh, who am I to think that I could charge that? Or uncomfortable as in, that makes me feel terrible because I worked really hard on that. People in New Hampshire are not going to pay the same prices for something as they are in New York. What I like to do is create a set of artwork that is really easy for me to produce, that is cheaper, that is affordable to the people that want to buy. A lot of artists who are painters will have paintings that sell for quite a bit of money, but then they have prints made as an option for other people that maybe don't want to plunk down $5,000 for an oil painting. Experience really does help. I have an entire price history list for every single piece in my studio that I've made. It is okay to feel confusion, doubt, and anxiety about pricing your work. But I think a lot of us do feel very uncomfortable with this concept of putting a number on an object, which for a lot of us oftentimes is a very big personal investment. I never feel like I get it right. It's always like a guessing game and really you just got to fake it till you make it. Like if you can just be confident about it, stand by your prices. The doubt is just going to happen no matter what and it will minimize over time. Like you can kind of push it aside a little bit easier, but it does take practice. It's not so much that you figure it out, but you just get used to accepting it realizing that, okay, I guess that's just the way it is and not being so freaked out about it. Maybe that's more what it is than feeling like, oh, I understand now because there's none of that really. Right.